Bedwetters, how you doing? Listen, today we've got the You Wooden Boys on the podcast. Lulu's going to be back next week and it's going to be business as usual far from then. But from now, enjoy these two fucking roosters with me. It's going to be a bit of bloody fun, let me tell you. <laughs> Isn't that right, Willie? Indeed. Don't you fucking talk to me. <sighs> Love you guys. <laughs> we might just fucking kick oh, up. Oh, let's just rip in. I honestly think... You boys were the first podcast I'd done outside of mine. And this I was, was like... Think back. This was when you guys were at... Um, what was it called? We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no. we were at another Voldemort. place. Voldemort. But it was... A, no, you're not meant to say ago. Voldemort, mate. That's what, what you don't That's say. Exactly. You say he who should not be yeah. named. You fuck uh, Well, I'm not you much of a Harry Potter guy myself. Hurtful stuff. Yeah. Mm. I'm a big Harry Potter guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm huge Harry well, Potter most guy. people are. Yeah. I'm not. You know what, mate? Go against the crowd. Yeah, I'm the black sheep. Well, Pat was a Harry Potter. You were watching the Harry Potter series when this girl no, I was, broke um, up with you because you were ha- halfway through episode three and you knew that she was going to break up with you. you so you've it. got a bit of PTSD That's a, surrounding Harry yeah. Potter. Yeah. So I've, it, when I was younger, I watched the first three and I was like, mm, not really my thing. Never watch them again. This girl comes into my life and, you know, she influences me to watch Harry Potter. Mm. And I'm kind of enjoying it. It's the one where the, the chick gets blown up like a balloon. Y- yeah. That's yeah. number three. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. you know what? I don't mind it. And then midway through it, she just goes, look, I'm done. <laughs> and I was just like, fuck Harry Potter, you know? And <laughs> yeah. I haven't had She's the like, courage to go back. She was literally like, yeah. you're a fucking fully grown man. Well, I ain't here watching Harry Potter, you yeah. bitch. And done. Yeah. So you in never a broke the three hole of a movie house. curse. You haven't passed number three. No. Nah. So and, that was it. I'm scarred. And then he was so affected by that breakup that when she... There's these movies called Hostel, which are like... I know them. Yeah, they're great movies. Like, Pat... It's so Pat's yeah. type of movie. And I went, oh, Hostel, let's watch it. If you haven't seen it, it's so your type of movie. And he goes, nah, um, so-and-so staying in a hostel at the moment. I can't watch it. You're just... <laughs> Like, it's like you're just holding your breath. It's like yeah. Tanya breathes I as well. I can't, yeah. br- I can't breathe because she breathes air as well. It's is like this, is yeah. this movie set on Earth? Nah, she's there oh, at the moment. Bro. <laughs> well, I reckon I'd watch it now, obviously. I'm happily in love now, but Ooh. back then Are it was you? a bit hurting. Yeah. Hold yeah. on, before we rip into this, introduce yourself, boys. Oh, sorry. I'm Pat Clifton. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why that was funny, but it just was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, correct. That no, was that's like, Will's hey, dad. Hey. That's Will's dad. Yeah. That is my dad. Alcoholic, two and a half years sober. Good on you, mate. Good on you, mate. Um, Will Gibbs, my name, and we have a podcast called You Wouldn't. Yes. It's a lot smaller than this one, and we record it just over there. Yeah, and just it's a left. tiny little pathetic piece of shit. Oh, I would v- vehemently disagree with that. Oh. The, these boys are, do a podcast called the You Wouldn't Podcast Bedwetters, which is Bedwetters. now Bedwetters. under the umbrella of Shane Keith Productions. So we are all family in this fucking in this house. So I was, yeah. with Lou being away, I was like, why not get the fucking mob in to spin some yarns? Yeah, let's do it. Wow. And if you haven't heard their podcast, go and listen to You Wouldn't. It's a fucking ripper. These cunts are funny. We don't have a good name for you guys. Like the bedwetters are good, the punters and dribblers are good. We just call them the you wooderners. It was ironic, but it's now it's lazy, ca- caught it? on. It is, it, but that's maybe the that's maybe where the charm lies in that. Yeah. And for the first thousand people to listen, we're giving away seven hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> <That's correct. laughs> <laughs> so go and listen. Look, but uh, just a little uh, little uh, amendment to that. There, there, there. That's not. Guaranteed? No, no, no. But guaranteed. There's, 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 there's T's and C's yeah. involved with it, but the first thousand that come over, <laughs> yeah. seven hundred fifty dollars cash apt. DM us money. It's like those fucking. <laughs> it's out. like those fucking Instagram comments. You know, you go on a video, and the first three comments are like, "Can't believe that fucking seven hundred fifty dollars <laughs> cash app actually oh, worked." Yeah. All I had to do was DM. Yeah, yeah, great content yeah. by the way. Mate. My mum's gonna get done with those one of these days. My mum s- sends me cars that like it'll be like a twenty twenty Toyota. For like five grand, and it's got like twenty thousand kilometers. She goes, Pat, this is a great deal. Mom. I'm like, Mum, you are fucking going to get yourself in trouble here. Seriously, I'm wor- I'm worried about that because I, I'm with you. Yeah. Like because my parents, whenever they got Facebook, was the fucking first thing that became big in yeah. our generation. It was like Facebook was huge, and then obviously the scams come with Facebook, and oh, yeah. you just hear like from the bedroom, and Dad would be like, uh, Janelle, why does this fucking this bloke want to be my friend? He's, say, he's saying he's got money. So he wants to be my friend. <laughs> the saddest thing to hear. They but they just—he couldn't understand that people could be scamming you through it. 
When I was in year five, I made a Morgan Freeman Facebook account and started friending random people. And then like mess people would message me and they were like, they were like, your movies inspired me so oh, much. Shit. Yeah, I was, it was no, like- back then it would have been like, no one like, would have really known like fake accounts and like, yeah. that, right? Is it really you, Morgan? Thank you so much for everything that you've done. I'm so <laughs> grateful. And little did I know, it is potentially <laughs> the opposite. To oh, Morgan Freeman. Yeah. It's like the what? It's a little gay ranger on his laptop going, you're an idiot. <laughs> and then I'd be sending them, yes, but I need my next movie made. Like I need, <laughs> the producer said I need money. We, oh, so you're a scammer? No, I wouldn't do that. Okay, yeah, I, I, respect, that I respect They it. also, my dad has a, so my dad's got Facebook and he's made a separate account because it baffles him that like you can just add people and they accept if you don't know them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's done a social <clears throat> experiment and he's up to a thousand friends and that's his hobby. So he's, that he's is, on a mission to see how many friends he can get. And he I thinks it's really that. cool that he's like, why do people just add me and they don't know me? And I'm like, dad, no one really gives a fuck. It's, you know so what I mean? It's, yeah, it's not no that No one deep. actually cares. But they're of a generation where it would be that deep to them. They don't yes, understand He's like, it. well, they're not my friend. Why would they add me? I'm like, you just don't get it. Mm. But that's his thing. He comes down and gives me weekly updates of how many friends he's got. I fucking love that, mate. It's ridiculous. I'll tell you something it's fucked. fucked. I'll tell you something mind blowing. This is fucked up. Okay. I was Exclusive. walking through Bondi Junction yesterday. And this girl, school girls, three of them, and they go, one of them goes, I really like the podcast, da da da. And I was like, are you in the Facebook group? And she goes, I don't have Facebook. And I went, oh, interesting. And I went, do the other two of you have Facebook? They went, no. And I went, have you ever had Facebook? They're like, fuck no. And I was like, how do you have parties? How do you have this? How do you have mm. that? And it was the first time where I was like, oh, I'm an old cunt. Mm. Yeah, but like, buddy, what age are you? 25. You know, they would have been, they would have yeah, been 16. A 15, 16. Snapchat's huge in the younger. But how I, do you make a or organize a party? I have heaps of group chats on Snapchat. Fuck that. Fuck I'm not that. having a group oh, chat awful. of 100 cunts. Awful. Oh, bro. Shocking. I, I struggle as it is, mate. Yeah. With group chats mm. and shit. I fucked my Facebook off, though, really. <laughs> but that's I, I fuck my Facebook off. He, face, he doesn't like, respond to anything work related, socially related, anything related. But neither do I. I've turned over a new leaf. <gasps> as of yesterday, I've put on a fucking reminder. Every hour on my phone <laughs> that says check WhatsApp. There it is. Ten o'clock, ten a.m. Check, check WhatsApp, WhatsApp. <laughs> and it works. Well, so I started this yesterday, <laughs> and wow! I just saw the transfer of all the money from We Mean Well. That was crazy. I've never seen so many digits. <laughs> I've never seen so many Holy zeros shit. in my life. <laughs> so many zeros. <laughs> <laughs> so when you turn the calculator sideways on your phone, yeah, yeah, yeah sorry, but you know what? That. Actually, on that, on you being bad on your phone, mm. I did um the carnivore diet a few months ago. Yeah. Oh. Right now, and oh. I was kind of a week or two in and it was getting intense yep. and I'm starting to be like, fuck, is this worth it? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I really needed someone who's experienced it. And I had a few rumors floating around that Jarchi had done it. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to reach out to my good friend Jarchi is the last straw. Fuck. You know what I mean? For a bit of encouragement. So I plop on bed and I go, hey, Jarch, you know, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, you know what? This might be the thing that motivates me just to go an extra couple of weeks. <laughs> I'm still on delivered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on fucking delivered. How long delivered. ago was that, Pat? Well, I tell you what, I'm not doing the fucking carnivore diet anymore. <laughs> My last string of hope. <laughs> I was, you were like Rose on the door and I'm Jack. <laughs> You know, and I'm just like reaching for one last bit of fucking inspiration and you just let me go and I'm just falling like falling this. into a block I'm just of celery. falling into a fucking Megalodon's mouth <laughs> and a fucking big Big Mac meal. Oh, I'm so sorry. Falling buddy. into some yogurt. I'm so sorry, mate. Yeah. Well, right, that's look, all right. I am a shocker. But that makes me feel better about myself. For a couple of days I'm going, Josh, he hates me. This is what this is what has wigged me out now. It's like people Take that, like, per, like as a, I haven't yeah, seen. I haven't seen that. I've got one. I'll read it out. This this one's really interesting, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, you posted that you were in Perth not yeah. long ago. Yeah, 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 Here yeah. we go. This yeah. one's great. So I said, twenty first of August. <laughs> How the fuck is this fucking turning? Twenty first of August, <laughs> dude. You posted in Perth, dude. I'm there tomorrow. I'm meeting so and so at twelve. Do you want to come over and join us? Sunday, September, tw September, whatever the fuck, September. <laughs> oh, dude, I was already gone. <laughs> that was four weeks later. <laughs> it's just like, oh, yeah. I forgot I even sent that message. I forgot I got denied so vehemently. <laughs> Think of how much uh, could have happened in that four weeks. Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. That's all right. 
<clears throat> I was already gone like, for, for reference. Fuck, that's funny. It's that brave moment of overstepping <sighs> the line where it's like, holy shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really, I'm gonna really go. Let's hang out. You know, like this is the big. You, I'm really putting my heart on. Yeah, the you line. Took, yeah, you took yourself out of your comfort zone. Yeah, look, I, think I got fucked back in there. I, <laughs> all I can say is that I'm sorry. That's all. Right. That's all I can say. But just know that it it truly couldn't be less personal. And that I do this to every single person that's in my life. And irrespective of how important that, I do this to Steph. Wow. Yeah, buddy. It's a real, I'd say an issue mm. that I'm trying to rectify and I'm taking small steps to try and rectify it. I think, I, th- I think that sounds really brave. Thank you. I think that sounds really nice. And maybe you could put a reminder, check on Pat's carnivore diet, <laughs> see if Will's I'm going to send you a message in two weeks and see how good you really are. <laughs> I'm going to fucking, every yeah. every like two weeks, I'm going to message it. I'm going to get a ratio of how much you reply. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go even crazier. I'm going to start putting you as my emergency contact. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to see what happens. Local, I'm going to start going to the hospital. Local, uh, local podcaster Will Gibb is yeah. deceased yeah. because he couldn't get on to his yeah. emergency contact. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, look, mate. Oh, do, t- t- test me. I will. I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. Because I've turned over a new leaf. I'm being a good boy. I'm being better. All right. Can I tell you what's not, what wasn't fine? Yeah. The kangaroo I blasted with a 12 gauge shotgun on the weekend. William. Yeah. Wow. Proud of you, buddy. Blasted into infinity. I'm proud. Now run me through this, bud. So, uh, I went and bought a gun. No, I'm kidding. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) It was easy. It was so easy. I just walked in there. Yeah. No, I um, I went to the Fairbairns Farm in Adelaide. I love those boys. In uh, they live out near Bow Hill, um, and we went spotlighting, which was my favourite thing to do growing up. I hadn't done it in like probably like six, seven years. I'm assuming your spotlighting was different to their spotlighting, though. Oh, you thought I was playing little hide and seek (laughs) spotlight? No, no, no. I was rifled up. Okay. Shooter. Where? Shocked me Bathurst. as well. In Bathurst. Yeah. Okay, got you, bud. Good. Thank you. 22. Proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I we, we did that one where we had like two shotguns on either side yep. and then we were just riding up to the kangaroos and then getting close enough to them and then just like... So you went shooting on the weekend, bud? Yeah. And I... I there's, there's a thrill that comes from it. Look, undoubtedly there is. I mean, mm. as controversial as that probably is these days, <laughs> you know, going for a hunt's pretty fun, if you ask me. I had to look away sometimes. That's probably natural, mate. Yeah. The you know, you're not- Are you acclimatised to it now? Fucking- Like, does it get any easier? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I thought you were going to say no. Yeah. So no, you no. could just point blank and just not give a fuck. Mate, it, it, like, uh, a lot of it is- um, you, beca- you sort of have to become desensitised. It's yeah. the same- it's, It'd be the same thing as anyone that works- um, as you know, cops, paramedics, yeah, all that sort of yeah, shit. Yeah. The first run that you do as a paramedic, I would argue, would be one of the worst nights of your life. Mm. Seeing mm. hectic shit. Fucking three years later, buddy, you're just fucking shoveling. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're, on the <laughs> you're in the cycle. <laughs> have you ever gone out <laughs> yeah. of valley? Yeah, but daily. No, have you? <laughs> <laughs> three a day. I swear to God, three a day. I was wondering why you're a bit slow this morning, but <laughs> have you ever gone shooting? No, nah, I don't think I could do it. That's fair. Yeah, I don't think I could. Yeah, I don't think I could. Mate, I used to say to my city friends, they'd be like, oh, we want to come to the farm and we want to go shooting and we want to do this. And I said, yeah, that's sweet. I'm like, just know that it, it's not like the movies yeah. where you go, someone gets shot and they just go, and they're dead. It's like, yeah, it can be it's oh, fucking, brutal. it's hardcore shit. Yeah. This massive roo. And they're hit. fucking strong as... And it was like skitsing on the ground and then Jackson had to go and like finish it. I couldn't it. look at the finishing off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And usually, usually I see really a bloke... your favourite part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> usually I see a bloke getting finished off and I'm <laughs> HD. It was next to like... Ah. <laughs> I'm like, squirt, squirt, squirt. <laughs> but then... Uh, and then you cut the legs off for dogs. Yeah, for yeah. Dogs, oh, yeah. And you see like the muscles like twitching and stuff. Yeah. It was yeah. pretty eye-opening. Um, and it was just fun. It just, look, I'm proud of you that you could, you could do it, Thanks. but it's, um, a lot. it isn't for, it's not for everyone. No. I especially if, you know, if you're not growing up around that shit, but like we grew up in droughts and shit as well. So we were just seeing dead animals all the time. Yeah. Dead life. You just, you, you become acclimatized to it. Well, it's the way of life, isn't it? Correct. Like, especially know? if you're cutting the legs yeah. off, you're feeding them dog meat. Plus they're fucking pests. Like, you know, they'll decimate crops and shit. So it's. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah it is, there it. is a purpose to the hunting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just don't, like, I reckon I'd do an ibis and a... <laughs> Human? The occasional pigeon. <laughs> oh, I'm you know so those white there, ones? Bro. You know the weed cunts? Fuck yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Like with a slingshot, but I don't think I could shoot the gun. I used to fucking love slingshots. Yeah. Well, you know, there's cunts who go out into shopping centers and it's their job to like, so sometimes oh. heaps of birds get in the shopping centers and they just slingshot all the birds. Uh, dude, <laughs> the other no day, my way. mate does dude, the plumbing at Chats. I <laughs> want that fucking gig. Dude. I would love that job, dude. Oh, get it. And the cunt, the cunt's under investigation because he missed oh. and shattered the top window of above course. the fucking- He's probably using like, like little, ball, the thing. Yeah. little ball bearings. Like they'd have some sting to him. Oh, fucking oh. That would hurt. Oh, mate, heaps. You reckon that would go through a bird? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I reckon it would. Mate, slingshots, especially those wrist fucking cannons where you get it on your wrist and you're holding it like it's- They fucking have some hell. talk to them. Mate, so aren't they illegal here? Oh. Fuck, I don't know. Maybe a license. I'd love to. You need a license for a Maybe slingshot. Isn't license. that pathetic? You know that what? That is pathetic. In America, you just go buy a fucking gun. Literally. We can't get a slingshot. Mate, I was in America. Can I have a slingshot, please? <laughs> Fuck off, cunt. <laughs> sorry, 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 my Yeah, man. it's true. I was in, when I was in Hawaii, I went to the gun range. And because my shoulder's fucked because of the reconstruction, I can't shoot rifles because of the fucking Recoil. kickback. Oh, no. But they had like AK-47. I was like, I want to shoot a fucking AK so bad, but I couldn't. So I just shot the hand cannons, and that was that was that'll fucking get your blood. Yeah. Pumping. Oh, did you shoot a magnum? I shot a magnum. And it was Mate, fucking three fifty seven magnum, forty four magnum, <laughs> almost kicked back shot in the face. Forty four <laughs> magnum, like just like boom. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> but they they are fucking. Yeah, them. I did that in Texas. I did the AK. Did you? Grass, yeah. Was it auto or semi? Like, did it go? I don't know the difference. Do, 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 I think. Do, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah. So. Oh, I don't think I want it just let me spray. But it's that edge because they're just. You can. It's not like it's locked in. Like you can just walk around. Like I could just turn around, but then yeah. all just lo all the workers there are just loaded up uh -huh. with guns. So they just fucking yeah. Do it. These kind ones of were edge. they had like two trampoline springs, and the gun was attached to it. Oh no, ours. You was know just what I mean? Dead. I wouldn't like fucking. that because I'd be scared. I'd drop it, and it would if, ping if around. No, if you do drop it, it's just going to land flat. That's why, because it's so you can't. The gun physically can't turn back. Yeah. And oh, like, real. If you if you're if you don't know what you're doing with guns, like people are just like, say, what's this? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And they'll yeah, turn yeah. around. You're like, what the fuck? Are you I'm throwing? just scared yeah. because um, I go to the gym so much that I probably Sorry? would have the strength to um <laughs> to pull it all Sorry, over. Sorry, mate. I I'm scared because I go to the gym so much. Heaps I'm just up. scared that um I'd be able to pull back pull the strings off. and just rip it Shoot off. Basically, anyone. Could yeah, just yeah, kill yeah. anyone. I was gonna say, mate, bit of you've become a bit of a jacked unit of of, of late. Yeah, it's it's pretty. Scary. People are walking down the street now, and they used to laugh at me, and now I swear to God, a baby started crying. <laughs> Don't let him hit me. Like that. <laughs> and you know you what I did? I just went, I picked it up and just threw it. Yeah. I was like, don't speak to me like that, uh, mate. And I agree, mate. Sometimes these kids, they need to learn young. Yeah. You know, about the realities of the world. Yeah, I And there's going to be some, ju some juiced up ranger walking along. With, maybe, t with TNs on. With TNs on. Yeah. Maybe don't talk yeah. sideways to it. Yeah. Um, you know what's interesting? You sent me a photo in Hawaii. Yep. And I picked exactly where you were. Dude. How, I was really impressed with myself there. The, I was impressed the with you. Surf rider. Yeah. Great. So you've spot. been there. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. fucking off its head. Oh, it's the. Did you just go to Honolulu? Mm -hmm. We were there the for seven time. days. Yeah, the whole day. Okay, the, that's good. The whole time. Because I went to Maui and they have this thing called the Road to Hana. And everyone goes, You got to do the Road to Hana. It's amazing. It'll change your life. Road to Hana, Road to Hana. So we rented a car, got in it. It's basically this one road that goes for like. 200 kilometers mm. and it takes eight hours the whole day when i tell you we had bumper to bumper traffic Fuck. and we were stuck on the side oh, of a mountain a for 12 nightmare. hours and they were like they were knocking on the windows going hey so hana's shut so you might want to just turn around now what my mate, mate i'm stuck like a sandwich and it was just yeah we're just stuck on the side of the mountain if anyone listening has done the road to hana i'd be very interested if they had a positive experience so what is the po is the point that the scenery is so incredible oh it's incredible and then you get to hana and it's meant to be this like life-changing place it's a fucking picnic table mate <laughs> six families around one fucking picnic table and your, your takeaway food's freezing cold that you got from the hotel because you were in the car for seven hours so no good. Yeah, no good at all. Honolulu is the place to be. Mate, I, yeah, so we, we were there for seven days. I liked it. It was very vibey, a lot going on. But the fucking, but then Steph was like, if we were to do longer, we'd probably do a week in Honolulu and then go to Maui because apparently Maui's more chilled out. That's the vibe, yeah. Is it? That's what we did. Did ya? Yeah. Mate, it's fucking, yeah, it's, 
I, I like Hawaii because they're sort of chilled out units. And when I've got a real gripe about people not waving when you let them in. Oh, oh don't Dude. start this fucking. Don't cunt. get me fucking riled up on that. I, 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 it yeah. fucking. No, get, no, no, no. It no. Gets you, don't, me. you don't need to. Oh. So you understand. It's my. Oh, my God. I'm actually angry. Like, I'm boiling right I, now. I understand. I'm, I'm with you. But what's going to alleviate my anger is the fact that in Hawaii, they're big on the wave. Yeah, okay. Not only are they big on the wave, they're big on the out of the window shaka. Huge. And I love that. That is grouse. And you know what's even grouser, dude? Be in the out of the window yeah. shaka up. Throwing one. And oh, going, yes. I hope someone is feeling what I felt yes. just before. Wow. They're good, man. They're just like, oh. Fuck yeah, mahalo, motherfucker. Love like, that. Yeah. Yeah. And yes. then you go back to Gunnard and you get lit in and you do one of those and they go, what the fuck's that, mate? You're <laughs> stripping yeah. hard. You fucking, what's this shit? <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking Australian, yeah. right? We don't do this shack of shit. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Boys, how long have you been doing this podcast? Since last February. So about a year and a half, year and eight months. Wow. How long have you strong. been? What? We're going strong. Yeah. Oh, that, aren't that you sweet little angels? And did yeah. you boys know each other growing up? Yeah, yes. since we were five. Wow. Yeah, met, met at, at the SFS. Did ya? Playing kick tennis at the old tennis courts. Bullshit. Members, of course, thanks to Will's family. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, and I still go to the SCG gym there. It's the Mate, best I go thing there. I go there too. It's my favourite gym. Some, sometimes. When they let, How good when is when the new? Don't. You'll see the posters of me all around. Are you big dog? Then? I'm the after. <laughs> 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 uh, fucking sleep. That was good. Um, <laughs> it was good. No, but, it's fun. Yeah, it's. I like it. So, when did you decide to fucking start the like? What made you? Was this the same as what every cunt does? Where it's like you're on the piss, you're like, fuck, we've got to put through it or put a mic yeah. in front of this. No, it wasn't as much. It wasn't like that as much. It was more. We all had one with Spotify that just kind of. Crashed and burned, they Crashed fucked burned. us. Did it? Yeah, I heard. Because yeah. Spotify did a huge cull, didn't they? I think oh, they culled everybody. They culled everyone. They even culled Joe Rogan. He's not with them anymore. What? Yeah, he's back on every all platforms. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wonder... That's the percentage. They of, threw so much money at pods. They did. And, and then, then it just l Yeah, okay. So huge they just amount. fucked it off. Yeah. And then I'd done a podcast previously. So I was kind of... I, like, I enjoyed doing them. And then... They I don't fun. know. We just had a fucking chat about... You wanted to start another one. I was like, fuck, I wouldn't mind starting another one. And then we just did it. And then Pat got fired from his job four, four episodes in. Yeah. Uh, we listened to the pod and um, we don't want you back at the school. Yeah. Well, I, was a, I was a school, t- I was not a school teacher. I was coaching rugby down at the school and we posted a clip. I asked Will, I was like, have you ever kissed a girl? And he was like, yeah, fucking oath. And I was like, well, it's not that obvious. Cause just before that, he said how he's jerking off to eight black guys is like fucking each other. <laughs> and I was like, it's not that obvious when you're jerking off to eight black men ramming each other's assholes. You know what I mean? Like, forgive me for asking if you've kissed a girl. And we posted that on TikTok. Yeah, you're not and Katy Perry, fucking, cunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, uh. the principal sent it to my mate who works here and was like, Pat Clifton had a Kanye West-like brain explosion online. Is that what they had that's, that's Kanye how, West? That's how he explained it. A Kanye West brain explosion. Dude. And, um, I, I see where they're coming from. You can't be saying that and then going and teaching or coaching kids. Uh, there, there is that. There is that. They'll call me Ivan Cleary, but I was three from three. <laughs> I was three in a row. On the trot. And Were then the you? next year they went shit outs and I went to the principal. I said, heard you could have done with me this year. Yeah, sorry, dog. <laughs> could have used how of- do you really coach rugby union? Isn't it the same oh, shit? It's made just sorry, buddy? How do you tactics. coach rugby union? It's the same shit. It's the worst sport. Same shit as what? As just, there's no tactics to it. That, that is very one of the tactical <laughs> sport. It's probably the most tactical yeah, of all the rugby. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's fucking <laughs> he's There's nothing, it. mate. Uh, yeah. There's nothing to it. Yeah. Run, the, run, it, run at the guy and don't get tackled, mate. Can don't I get be, a stiffy. Hey, can I? Don't, get, <laughs> don't suck anyone off in the rock. <laughs> yeah. Our rugby would be very different to your rugby. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No oil in our rugby. No right, oil. Okay, yeah. Oh, weird. I think the rugby I watch must be a bit different. Yeah. <laughs> I watch it after the post. No, you're watching. Day. You're watching. That's rubbies. Oh, remember, buddy? Yeah, rugby yeah, yeah. and rubbies are very different. Very different. Uh, very very different. different. Equally as fun. Yeah. yeah. And well, you can score- you get a gay rugby? Yeah. Dude, there's a gay rugby team. Remember the fucking yeah? They're called the the convicts. Yeah, the convicts. The convicts. What a name! I know a guy who plays for him, Lockie McGregor. It's sick. Connor's cousin. Yeah, 
Yeah, good guy. Great I wonder guy. if they would smash all in the locker rooms. I don't reckon they would. Dude, would, the like, huddles are uh, sick. Can't. If you won the comp, it's a fat orgy afterwards. You that, that. It's Jungle Juice and it's Taylor Swift and it's <laughs> Rim Jobs. <laughs> Fucking hell, Carl. I wouldn't mind joining the conference. <laughs> That's That's how, it's how they bind in the in the scrum. Instead of just holding, they put thumbs in assholes. Yeah. <laughs> like they're playing fucking VR. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me dead. FYI, bid winners. Last chance you get your trackies at wemeanwell.shop. That's wemeanwell.shop. You've snavelled them up very. We love you. Thank yeah. you for getting them. You've really snavelled them up. There are a few left. If you want your trackies, go get them now. It's a last chance. We love you. At we mean well. Dot shop. They're hot prop. Hot get them. Prop get them now. Now, <laughs> mate. I'm so glad that we've got you boys. Are you enjoying being in this little fucking mob? I'm pretty oh. scared still. So run me through. You said before you're a bit scared of Eddie. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really scared of Eddie. <laughs> it just gives me the vibe that at any second, he will go full like a... You know when you're at your friend's dad, your, your friend's house and his dad has a go at you? Yeah, it's And fucked. it's like, I can't argue back, I can't do anything. It's also the worst feeling because you're like, usually you love me and now yeah. it's like, oh, this is real you. I don't want to yeah. let him down. And that, yeah. I feel like Eddie's got a bit of that in him. And I'm just going to be sitting here twiddling my thumbs, you know? <laughs> I'd argue, Willie, Eddie doesn't have any of that in him. No, like, any time he gets a bit intimidating, have you ever noticed when he's on the piss and he gets a bit drunk and then sometimes you'll just be looking around the room and he's just staring at you. <laughs> but he's not staring at you, he's looking through you. Like when we yeah. were at Streeties a while back, I just looked over and he's looking at me like, <laughs> just dead staring at me. And I was just like, oh, fuck, dude. How, how have you been looking at me Yeah, c- yeah. correct. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you boys mean, but he's not a snapper. He's very reserved. So he's fucking like, he'll just... Put it this way, you won't anger him, you'll disappoint him. I hate That's that. That's scary. See, okay. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> so this- you'll go like, oh, mate. We were supposed to do this video, but we decided we didn't want to do it. He, he, he won't go, well, that's fucking stupid. That was fucking money on the table. You've left. He'll go like that. Yeah, right. Okay. No. Oh. See, I'll tell you what. Uh, that sucks. That's worse. That so I hate worse. because I would rather this. When someone goes, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. I'm like, no, faggot, be mad at me. <laughs> Fucking grow up and be mad at me. I hate this, like, all right, well, we'll just start it up. I'm like, can you just let it all out now? I hate it. Just abuse me constantly. <laughs> Don't drag it on. Uh, uh, abuse me and then let's move on. Let's just get it all out. Not this, like, all right, well, um, we'll, we'll re-talk later on. And No, no, we won't. Mate, I'm still rattled. I haven't heard that word in the wild for a while. Yeah, well, we'll I don't when, believe you. When, the, <laughs> <laughs> when you go back you. home, that word's getting through. Yeah, right I don't believe you at all. <laughs> That's dinner table chat when you're back home. Why? Lie detector. The lie detector explodes. <laughs> oh fuck! Lucky I wasn't linked up. <laughs> that, I've that definitely buzzer, not heard that word. Oh. Wait, mate, I've never heard. What word was that? Yeah, what the hell? Was that French? Pile of sticks? Is that what you're yeah. talking about? What the hell are you talking about? Pile of sticks. That's the only way we know it. <laughs> yeah. We were talking about that with the Hallows What Boys the other day when they were on our pod. How it, it wasn't good, but 10 years ago was the most normal thing ever. Well, it, look, growing up, it was very, it was. Like it I was, was saying, my Facebook memories pop up and my statuses. Got to be careful, buddy. My status careful. says it, you know. But it was it was a commonly used phrase. Yeah. And it like times have just changed, hence yeah. why it's probably not. Which is a good thing. I've not heard it in so long. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> fuck, is my acting that bad? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, how do you feel about Burma? M- m- much more, um, I love them both. They're both very good. But Burmo's more like... Do you think it's a good cop, bad cop situation yes. with Eddie and Burmo? Yes, yes. That's how I would say it. Okay. A yeah. bit more, f- not friendly, but like a bit more smiley when you walk in. Mm. You know, with Eddie, it's like, do you want me here, cunt? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, do you actually... Uh, like, am I inconveniencing you by being here? With Tom, it's kind of like, feel the love, baby. Well, let me... I just want to paint a picture for you because when I first met Eddie and he hates this yarn, I didn't like him. <laughs> because... He came to uni as a mate with one of our mates, Rob, Rob Dowling. So he gets, you've got this mate from Dubbo coming to uni. We were at uni in Bathurst. And I said, sweet brother, any fucking, your mates are my mates. This is grouse. Eddie comes in and good looking, you know what I mean? Fucking looking slick. Mm-hmm. Walked in. A lot of the birds were like, fucking, oh, who's fucking Rob's friend? He's a bit of fucking all right. Shit. And you'd be like, g'day, mate, Judge, how you going? I'm like a little fucking... Labrador puppy dog like <laughs> licking your face, you know? Yeah. And he's like, Eddie, mate, there you go. 
And I was like, who's this cunt? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, who the fuck is this? Right, hey, bro, you're in our world now, boy. None of this cool shit. And I was like, yeah, I didn't vibe him. And I misconstrued it for arrogance. When Eddie is shy. He was really intimidated to come into this college, all these mates, all that sort of stuff. And so he's just really shy initially until mm. you break down his walls and you get to know him. Then he's like the silliest motherfucker of all time. But mm. he was just incredibly shy and I he was misrepresented to me. So I'm just saying. Well, I don't hate Eddie. I really like Eddie, but he scares I love the fuck both. out of me. Okay, well, it's yeah. good to know. And it was when, you know, when we were talking about when he's on the pierce, when we first started here, we went for drinks just at the pub next to us. And he got out our fucking social media and he went through our whole thing. It was just like, that is dog shit. Do not do that ever again. Then he'd be like, that's shit. good. That's good shit. Shit, who the fuck did this one? Who the fuck? And uh, this is like, I've just met him. He goes, who the fuck did this one? I'm like, oh, that was me. He goes, dog shit, you're never doing that again. And I'm just saying, oh, okay. okay. And then Cody took over and fucking saved the day. And okay. then Cody's become the studio But he boy. had that drunk face of just, just blank, just like, shit. Good. Yeah, Cody has the uh, the studio Good. bully. Apparently, he is. Yeah, yeah. Cody instigates. Sorry? Cody instigates he's like the bullying. I call him Osama bin Laden. To Toads, how do you feel about this? <sighs> no, because he'll go like this. Cody will go. I will tell Pat what you told me last weekend. Yeah, oh, I like see. he stokes That's the fire. If I were to go yeah, up to, yeah, to yeah. one kid in the playground and said Tom said this about you, then go up to that guy and say, Hey, Drayden said this about you, and then they're clashing, and Cody just sitting back. How, it. how many cunts you know called Drayden? <laughs> I was about to say, ja yeah, not many. You know what? Not one. Not one. It's a name. That, I wish that I did, but you would. Drayden's pretty cool. Actually, Drayden is cool. Yeah. For, for the listeners, um, a really good way to know Pat, if you want to get to know Pat, is mm. two of the names that he wants to call his daughter, if he has a daughter. Please. London. Yep. And Aloe Vera. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hyphen Vera. <laughs> oh, yeah. hyphen. Oh, oh, that fixes everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, mate. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was, I was in case you were confused. I was wigging out until yeah, yeah, I heard yeah. there's a fresh hyphen yeah, in the middle Yeah, yeah, 100%. It's aloe Vera. <laughs> or just Vera or Alo. Hello, 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 Hello <laughs> London. Hello, Vera. <laughs> How are you, darling? Oh, and like, London, so it's literally, it sounds like yeah. you just yell, oh, cock me, mate. Oh, hello, London. Hello, yeah, London. it sounds like you've got a bit of an affinity for the English. It's either yeah. London or hello, Vera. It's not bad, but Stormy's oh, another one. Yeah, I don't oh, mind Stormy. Oh, Stormzy, with an eye. so you like Stormzy, obviously, another London thing. Yep. <laughs> Maybe I am. Maybe I've got my blood. I've got a bit of. I've got a bit of English in me, a bit of French, a bit of Russian, a bit oh, of Jewish. Oh, mate, you're one percent Russian. I've got a bit of everything. One percent. He's like, I got all this. Yeah. You're zero point three percent. I'm like a walking map. African. I'm a walking, I'm a walking map. map. <laughs> what? Uh, so, are you fair income? Yeah. With the names? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I just didn't know how hard to go on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I it's think they're beautiful, mate. No, you can go hard. No, I think they're nice. Well, no. what, he wants to call his fucking thing after his grandpa Boyce. Like that kind of stuff. I think Boyce is out. a sick name. Boyce. 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 B O Y C E. That's a cool name. Boyce. It is. You also do love the boys. <laughs> <laughs> don't you? Don't you? So I can see why. I Boyce. can see why you like that. Don't you? Boy, I, I think Boyce is nice. I mean, it's fucked. You'd Aloe have some, you'd have some coming, but you know, you'd, you'd, surely you and your your fiance would have some in the list. Mate, I got my son's going to be called Hank. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? You're not. Yeah. Are you actually? I love the I love the name Hank. Yeah. What's it short for? Hank. Hank. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, Hank's a solid, strong name. It can because you you know it works. It works when he's a baby. He's a little baby Hank. Excuse me, Hank. Little baby Hank. And then when he's ninety, it's like oh, that's old fucking Hank Ashdale down there. Okay, yeah. And then what, what about, about the, the fucking between years, years when he's in between. high school I and think, trying to get a look, wife? I think the the eighty to eighty five years in between, it's up to him. <laughs> but <laughs> I think for the will. start and the end, the book ends, mate. Beautiful. And that's the hardest thing to write is the start and the end. Exactly, Will. Yeah, so you've so really set him up. <laughs> I've got a question. I did a little bit of we mean well research. Okay. I was researching. I was looking at a lot of the comments. Mm -hmm. And the main thread mm. of the comment section is that the listeners, the audience are convinced that you and Lou are in love and that Mate. you two need to uh, get together. What are your thoughts on this? And people also think that her boyfriend looks like you. See, I don't think TDD looks like me at all. I've heard, I've seen the threads. Yes. The, the la I love Lou. I do. <gasps> Fresh off the press. <laughs> <laughs> clip it, clip it. Clip that. 
And I'll give you that tip. I'm not in love with Lou. Mm. But, that is, but that's a common thing, mate, with, I think with a female male co, uh, co-host, there is always going to be, there's always going to be that. Especially with the it's, dynamic you two you have. You know what I mean? It's like, it's a, we giggle, it's fun. People are just like, oh, they're definitely, they're definitely fucking. <laughs> and you're like, that could not be further from the truth. We also always throw out that gag of like, oh, kiss each other. Well, Quick that's kiss. correct. We do do that. And we do kiss a lot, all three of us. <laughs> Post-podcast yeah, patches. Could, yeah. 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 You know. Are we, we in for one after? Oh, I did. Oh, <laughs> Pope shit in the woods. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. This is the best podcast ever. <laughs> <laughs> did you say just the Pope shit in the woods? Yeah. yeah. He, well, he's an outdoorsman. Well, he's he, is, he, he loves it out there. He hikes. He loves it out there. <laughs> he hikes. Do you reckon? Full yeah. robe, too. Fuck, bro. He, he, shif- he shifts his robe up. Squats, shits in the woods. I know that for a fact. <laughs> uh, but, mate, it is. That's just a common thread. I can dispel the rumours here live on the podcast. Wow. Huge. I can dispel. Do you guys ever get any rumours of some foul play? Yes. Yeah, actually. We you do? do we? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know yeah, that. No, I'd take it. Oh, well, I'd be, well, I, well, I, I would have thought you'd take yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, yeah. 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 But I, I'd, I'd be honoured to, to share a bed with you, Will. We've shared beds, brother. Yeah, but sexually. <laughs> oh. If I was gay. <laughs> Which I'm not. But people comment it. People like these two are up to something sus. I just, sometimes we play into it's it. It's human nature, man. You know what I mean? Pat does this thing which annoys me. I said, I asked him a question the other day on the pod. I said, <coughs> Pat, if you could root any bloke in the world, like who would you choose? And he goes, can't choose. I'm, I'm not gay. No. And I was like, yeah, no. But like, if you had to choose, he goes, I can't. I don't know. I don't know if the guys are hot or not. And I was like, no, okay, but just that give is me a- lie. That is fucking wrong, Willie, cunt. Willie, is that when you asked me and I already yeah, had three no, loaded up in the back pocket? what I said. If I was a bloke, if I was gay, it would be different to who I'm sexually attracted towards. But I can tell you who I think's hot as a mate. No, who would you fuck? But I think you need sexual attraction to fuck someone. No shit, mate. But I'm just saying, who are the, who is who's someone that you based fuck? off looks? Yeah, or, or, or based off personality? Grow up, mate. Sexual attraction. I want to fuck someone I'm attracted to. That's yeah. all right. You can you can say me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. But it was, I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't answer that question. I'm straight. I have no Oh, idea. no. Yeah, I'm making it out like I'm this fucking toxic cunt who's like afraid of gays. Like I, <laughs> I fucking run when I see one. <laughs> you, that'd make for an awkward podcast. <laughs> yeah. It's just Will yeah. alone every single time. And the door's I'm locked. I'm just on just Zoom. Like, <laughs> I'm on Zoom, no camera on. <laughs> <laughs> just real standoffish. Yeah, no, good one, mate. Yeah, no, that's pisser. Whatever. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is real. Good chat, good chat, good chat. <laughs> Who are your top three, Willie? Well, I actually had four. So first I had Jason Momoa. Jesus, you want to be manhandled. <laughs> I want to manhandle him. Oh, oh, buddy, that's a, big, that's a big call. Hey, mate. Yep, Fuck okay. him, literally. All right. Chris Hemsworth, obviously. Tom Hardy. Okay. Get at me. And who was my last one? I had another one. Interesting you don't have any kind of femme guys. Yeah, I was going to say, it's all big boys. Fuck okay. nice, dude. And you're fucking all of them? I want to be held. Yeah, oh, I respect yeah. that. <laughs> I wonder what about like a, who's a femme boy that I don't really like fucking Conrad Troy Savan. Troy Savan. I'll probably take Chalamet over, over Savan. Chalamet, really? yeah, that's Chalamet. Did you see him singing as Bob Dylan? Did you hear it? No, no, is it dog shit? Well, should we get it up? Let's do it. Who is it? We got the big TV here, mate. We might yeah, as well do it. So, boys, Wait, do you know, know who Bob Dylan is? Because I don't even really know who Bob Dylan is. But have you heard Bob Dylan sing? Wait, who's Are the you other fucking? Cunt? Timothy Chalamet. I don't know who that is. He's a fucking actor, mate. Fucking Willy Wonka cunt. <laughs> Fuck, it's okay. Hell. It's okay. You didn't know. <laughs> Fuck me, dead. Why do you not really know who Bob Dylan is? Not really. I know some old bloke that used to sing. Jesus Christ, Will. I'm so confused what's happening. We're I'm showing so you. I'm confused as to what's going on right now. <laughs> so we're you showing what? you Timothy Chalamet singing as Bob Dylan. Did I you, think I've got. What's a Bob clip Dylan's of it? top songs? Never heard That's of a it. band. He sings like this when he sings. Hurricane, Fine. which is about yeah, the, the boxer. Hurricane. That's what I meant, not the boxer. It's about the boxer. I don't. I haven't heard him. Yeah. I okay. This is him, him singing. I'm just so on the Zach Bryan train right don't now. Don't think twice. Can it's I all right. The mic. This is him singing as Bob Dylan, and I want to get your thoughts. Hit it, buddy. Mate, I reckon that's pretty fucking red hot. You reckon? What, what do you think? I don't know what Bob sounds like to that's begin ins- with. Yeah? Well, now you know why I want to rearrange his voice chords. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> what it, what, so Will, why bring that up? What do you think of that? 
Oh, well, I wanted to know because I got the vibe that you'd like Bob Dylan and I just was interested in you even if that's the current a good was. job. That is a good job, so if we go. Oh. Sounds like the exact same. It's getting dark, too dark to see. I love his vibe. I no, actually no, really no, I'm, big, I'm huge on lyrics. That's my number one thing. Oh, he's a huge lyricist, bro. He tells fucking, stories. Yeah, that's that's music at its core. Can I tell you the it's best? It's a storytelling. Mm-hmm. You, you, you won't disagree, but you obviously will disagree. One of the best country songs of all time, yeah. lyrics-wise, is um, They're, They're Hanging, Hanging Me, Me Tonight. tonight. Who sings Marty that? Robbins. Marty Robbins. One of the guys. Oh, Marty Robbins who sings uh, Big Iron. Yes. Big Iron. Yes. Yeah. I love that. Big, the Big Iron tune. Tonight. Hanging Me Tonight is honestly one of the greatest songs I've ever I have never heard it. I'm and it's got a plot that. twist. We were driving. Okay. And we were, we were listening boy. to it. And then it got to this. It, he sang this plot twist. And we literally stopped the car. Yeah, I was fucking. What the fuck? Car behind me. Boom. Re- b- rear ends me. Airbags went off. Airbags. You're joking. No, no, no. The Pass- airbags passenger went off. Set passenger flies out of the seat over our car. <laughs> yeah. You're gambling. No, rolls no, rolls no. in the front of the thing <laughs> like crazy. that. Then they're in the middle of this like, traffic thing. A yeah. truck comes through, tries to skid, goes into a school. Exploded. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was fucking. You both had me going. Because I was like, I was like, Marty Robbins out here causing accidents. Yeah. Like, but, but we did stop the car. So <laughs> yeah. And no one went up our ass. You know what? I will. Well, I res- <laughs> well. <laughs> you can speak for yourself, Pat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really so good cool. stuff Yeah you gotta listen to it It's fucking one of the okay, greats Okay I will I love that I also Have you got around Alan Jackson? No Okay one of the great country music singers I literally time. Not like I shit I cannot wait for my Spotify rap to come out I just get in my car And I just have the complete Zach Bryan playlist like, You love a bit of I Zach. listen to right now What are you into mate? I like Zach I really like uh, The Smiths Yep I'm a huge Smiths fan I like Remy Wolf And I like Olivia Rodrigo I have quite a broad range of things. You yeah. get around any Sinatra? Frank? Frank's nah. fucking, bruh. You're cooking dinner, pour a whiskey, put some Sinatra on. Shit'll get you stiffer than <sighs> this a This fucking... Uber Eats all the time. Buddy. He's got oh, no Oh, sorry. It's just pathetic. Well, I need to, I, I'm no, actually, you know what, I'm, I'm today I'm gonna get a uh, McCain's frozen pizza. So that's kind of cooking. Look at you. Hey, I heard a rumor about you, bud. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, that is horrific mm-hmm. to start. Okay, go. I've heard if a that rum- came from Eddie's mouth, I would run. I've, I've heard a I rumor. I would run for the hills. Oh, if that came from, I, I would, I would throw. I would, yeah, anyway, sorry, whatever. <laughs> the news has been brought to me. Can I just put my glasses on? Please shake them on, kid. I, I don't, I don't want to show any sort of emotion. Listen, to here, this. kid. There's been a rumor about you. It's been brought to my attention. Kid hates fruit. Never had a piece of fruit in his life. Ironically, the fruitiest one in this fucking studio. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't eat fruit. That's correct. Run me through that. I am a really fussy eater and I, I can't eat fruit. I can't do it. Like the texture is- But they're all so di- Like a plum and a banana is- <laughs> <laughs> no way. It's bad. Plum, I'm trying to get him to like eat it juicy, multiple times. Juicy, crunchy, kind of like, no, yuck. The texture, a texture of a grape. I'm telling you, I can't think of anything worse. Are you serious? The one fruit. Oh, it's oh I just thought of a banana just then. I can have I it in a smoothie. If you blend it all up, I'll yeah. drink it. Okay. But I can't actually eat the fruit. So like, I do drink fruit smoothies. That's how I get my fruit. Okay. So you've consumed fruit. Yes. But you won't have a bite of an apple. Fuck, Fuck no. 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 Pat got me to try kiwi fruit. I almost started. I've done crying. a kiwi fruit, a banana, a uh, mandarin, <laughs> and I think maybe. And a the mango. only vegetables I'll eat is broccolini, and that's it. And that's why he was in hospital two nights ago <laughs> for a tummy ache. Is that why? No, it's because I had gastritis. Because really, what, what's his diet consist of? Come cacao and candy. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking uh, cacao. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Candy, that was yes. Pippin to Jordan I'm type so- of stuff right there. <laughs> Buddy, that's fucking insane. So, I can't do it. Ve- so broccoli, <laughs> you see, you know, what about potatoes? Yeah, potatoes, hot chips. Uh, okay. Yeah. But roast roast potatoes when Nan makes them. Yep. Sometimes the bitch burns them, but that's all right. God, fucking <laughs> Nan. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Nan. Um, Jesus. But I could see you. You know what I could see your diet consisting of? Hit me with it, buddy. 
shooting a lamb in the face <laughs> on the property oh and God. then just cutting its leg off with a steak knife. And you're so the sort of bloke that would like stab the meat like in Red Dead Redemption 2, stab the meat on the hunting knife and roast it over the fire and then eat it off by like that and go, yeah, I love a bit. Of, I love the lamb. The whole time with a bottle of whiskey in one hand. <laughs> go, I, love I love the lamb. The lamb. And then you, just, well, you take a wig of the, swig of the whiskey and you go, and then you spit it onto the fire and the fire goes. <laughs> and you go, you go. Oh, fuck, I love this. Fuck, I love this sunburnt country. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. That's your diet, mate. Oh, cliches. I do oh. love this sunburnt country. You did, right? oh. did you watch me fucking eating dinner last night? Yeah. <laughs> With binoculars. <laughs> Wanking. <laughs> Yeah, you can't use binox, you need a telescope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You always need one hand free. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to play a game with you boys. Please. This is a genius game. Okay. It's called You Would or You Wouldn't. Oh my God. Now, why do you think I've called it that? The I name of our know. podcast is What you is wouldn't. it? It's Pat. Look at these guys. Yeah, I didn't yeah. think of that. So, so, this is how it's going to work. Shit. And ask each of you, I'll put a scenario in front of you. Essentially, and I'll say you you would or you wouldn't, and you just okay. tell me whether you would or you wouldn't, all right? Okay. <laughs> and okay. you've tailored these to each of them specifically. Listen, right? I've tailored these to you guys specifically just based on your personalities, who I think you are intrinsically, you know, deep down, fundamentally. What, I've tailored these okay. to what I think y you would resonate with. Shit. Shit. If that's okay. Yeah, I please. love that. I feel like I'm about to learn a bit about myself here. Okay. You would or you wouldn't. Will. So parties, just having just having fun with your friends and stuff at a party. You would or you wouldn't? Okay, that is like <laughs> I I feel the attack. I no, feel it. No, I would. You would. Beautiful. Oh, Pat. Oh, that is a bullion. Pat. <clears throat> the National Socialist Party of Germany around 1939. You would or you wouldn't? No, because I'm Jewish. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Good like to then percent Jewish. And so, so fucking a lot of it. You know your percentages. Yeah. Will, patting puppy dogs, you would or you wouldn't? I would, I yeah. I love that. See, I thought that about you. <clears throat> what the fuck's going on? Pat, berating asylum seekers in detention centres, so you would or you wouldn't? <laughs> Pat. What's berating mean? Like yelling at them from the through the fence. Would you? No, I wouldn't. You would. Okay. No, no I wouldn't. Okay, you wouldn't. I wouldn't. So I'm just, I'm checking. I I'm checking here because I, I just based this off what I, I thought. <laughs> Will, yeah. making breakfast in bed for your respective lover on their birthday, you would or you wouldn't? Oh, that's a great question. I would. If I, especially, I'd love to cook. I'd love to learn to cook and show my affection that way. I love that about And I thought maybe, Pat, drowning cats because they're of a mixed breed, you would or you wouldn't do that? <laughs> you would, would you or not? Think or? mixed breed. Mixed Please. breed. They're a mongrel cat. Tom Cat's got into your house, cat. What are you doing? <laughs> Running the bath. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm not the I see. That's I thought yeah, that. Yeah. I did think. That. Yeah. It's just the mix part that got me. <laughs> Will. <laughs> okay. Will. Mm -hmm. Going for a hike with close friends or family. You would or you wouldn't. <sighs> oh, I'd have to choose the friends closely and also the family. Yeah. Because there's some people I wouldn't want to be caught hiking with. Fair. If I could choose my crew, I would. I love that, mate. Yeah. I saw you as a bit of an outdoorsman. You like to get yeah. out there. Fresh air. Maybe bring a shotgun. Yeah, correct. Shoot yeah. a kangaroo, point yeah. black in the face. <laughs> More Pat's speed, but anyway. Um, Pat, physically hurting any member of the disabled community. You would or you, you wouldn't do that? Have they waved at him? <laughs> <laughs> Have they complained that I parked in their spot? They, they. Oh, because <laughs> that pisses me off a bit. There's 50 other spots. Let me park in your disabled spot. Sounds like a wood, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah think okay. Wood. Good. Well, thank you, boys. For good for playing, reason. Thank you for playing You Would or You Wouldn't. No, I think that really you. sums up. Yeah. You no, know, thank you I very just. Thanks, <laughs> boys. You better believe I'm joining the Facebook group. What's the Facebook group called? Of this? Yeah. Probably we may well. Probably. Well, You're I not in there? Yeah, I'm going to join it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to join well it. Podcast. And I want honest reviews of, of me and Pat. Of how we've gone. of the, From this podcast? Yeah, how we've done. And I'm going to read all the hate. Yeah, every single bit. Every time Will well. opened his mouth, he's a fucking loser. How do you deal with, how do you boys deal with that? Do you read, do you read the comments? Mm. Yeah, I generally do. Do you get much hate? Not really. We, no, we do, but okay. a lot more positive than negative, yeah. I think. You obviously get the generic, like, let's start a podcast. Like, oh, my God. Like, Always. Fucking hell. But, nah, generally not too bad. It's quite funny. You know, sometimes it hits you. 
Mate, depends on your mood. I suppose it does. It used to hit me, I think, in the early days, and I just had to teach myself Oh, now myself you're the biggest podcast not... in the country, so it's just like, but who ir- gives a ir- fuck? Irrespective of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. before... <laughs> you know what I mean? That Irrespe- would make all my worries go away too. <laughs> yeah, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Number one on the charts, baby. <laughs> You buy a couple of Lexus for that. <laughs> You're like, fuck that. I'm not seeing the green arrow anymore. It's just that grey dash yeah. for staying at the top. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, no, it helps. Yeah, I'm no, sure it would. I like it even before we started the podcast when I was just doing my own shit. It was, um, I just had to be like. You care, who gives a fuck? Because sometimes you get these horrific comments. And you're like, Jesus Christ, that is so fucking mean. Yeah. And you go into their profile and you're like, oh, I get why he's saying that. Yeah. 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 Fuck that cunt. Yeah. No, it's, it's interesting. I'm, I'm very nervous because I don't really post on my personal account, but I'm slowly starting to. Good. And I'm shitting it for that. What you, I think the best advice I could give you is to don't second guess yourself and yeah. just post. Who gives a fuck? I have videos that are like, people are like, this is... So shit, cunt. <laughs> they're like, that sucked. And I just have to be like, okay. Yeah. But I think yeah, the best yeah, thing about yeah. that, it creates a barometer as to what works and what doesn't. So it's so you need the bad to know what the good is. Yeah, that's true. That's you know true. what I mean? Yeah. But at the same time, there's always just going to be a cunt out there who's going to be a cunt. Oh, yeah. Like, e- and you can't yeah. change their mind, Mate, whatever with, you do. With everything. So yeah. You could be walking down the street and someone would be like, fucking look at that dickhead's jeans. Yeah. And it's like, you, you can't that's help me. that. I'm the one saying that stuff usually. Yeah, and you're you are, wearing the fucking And you're wearing outfit. flower track suits, Yeah. Mate. Oh, the really nice Ace Hotel trackies. Yeah, they're lovely, thanks. <laughs> no, but I like your matching Under Armour. You look like you're about to go for a run. Really cool. Rocky Balboa. Mate, I, f- I wear this because we basically just run straight to the top of the podcast charts. So I just thought this oh. matched. Oh. <laughs> well, I need one because we're freezing at the bottom. There's no sun where we are. Please. We're in the fucking igloo. <laughs> yeah, we're in the fucking, yeah. I think you guys are doing great. No, nah, we're doing all right. We're doing, doing great. all right. Um, but fuck, you guys did just shoot, right? We were like very it is lucky. A rare, like, not, I don't think it's lucky. You guys are very fucking good, but I think it's a rarity to see people go so quickly. That's why I think we were. That's why I think we were lucky because it was. It it was. It's such a unique dynamic, and it's not that's really. Not, I, else. I wouldn't call it luck. <sighs> I, I, luck's getting a few viral videos, and then like you've maintained it. You know, not like not luck. Not getting a few viral in a videos, second like, if you're not fucking careful. Like Tom and Eddie got <laughs> lucky. In the sense that when they had Anthony Watmo on, yeah. he decided to dish everything that went on with that, his that's contract true. termination at the, at the Seagulls. And out of nowhere. And that just put them straight that's up. That's so true. Wow. Yeah. Mate, they were grafting for, like, what, five years? Five, six years before that interview. Yeah. That's why I love those cunts. Because I'm like, they are the epitome of just sticking to the guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were getting 300 listens on bloody SoundCloud. And then that one interview. And then it just started. And you saw it start yeah, to snowball. Momentum. They got mentioned in media releases. Yeah. Oh, Anthony Watmo on the Hello Sport podcast. And these people are like, oh, let's suss out this Hello Sport podcast. And the, the guys were brilliant. The thing about them is they've been just as good as they are, obviously more polished now, but just that dynamic, as good as they were now as they were episode one. Yeah. <clears throat> so all they needed was a bit of press and got eyes on it, and then it worked for them. Yeah. And look at them. Now we're all friends and family together. Yeah. Now they own us. They do. Now they own all three of us. They do. Yeah, they control us. We're on strings. Yeah, Eddie's fucking terrifying, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie's behind the cameras with a gun. <laughs> yeah. And a telly yeah, prop. Correct. <laughs> that, that thing that I just said, I've practiced that 45 <laughs> times. I actually did want to talk to you boys about live shows. Yes. And then more specifically, your stand up. Oh. So you've been Ooh. doing live shows for a while? Yeah, we did one last November was the first one. And then we've oh, done yeah. maybe two tours since then. And how how's that? So So fun. fucking fun. Is it? Yeah. yeah, the audiences are always so good. That's good. It's so nice. It's fucking mad. Like my first exposure to like being on stage and stuff. And it's really good because it's like, it's the thing I find comforting is it's your show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, you know they're there to see you. Whereas yeah. if, if someone asks <laughs> us to go to like, a podcast event and say there were five shows and like a random audience, I'd be shitting it so much more. It's just like, you don't know if they're going to like you, but you know they fucking like you and you just get up there and it's, oh mate, it's that good. That's very true. And I think that would really help. I think that because, because with podcasts, like you build your own little community. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and it is. That essentially it's like mates, you know what I mean? That would make a lot easier. And then you meet people who like you you see engage with you a lot and shit and it's really like that is cool. it's nice. It that, is re- it's a nice thing and it's fun and it's just it's seriously like he would be able to speak about it more being on stage but it's like a drug. Really? Like yeah, you like the best. it's fu- it seriously is like a drug. 
So you keep trying to get me to do stand up, and I'm like, Bruss, I'm fucking terrified. Of oh this yeah, shit. I'm announcing that now. So um, at the I'm gonna say uh, around Fuck. November time, end of November, I'm yeah, gonna do a charity. November. I do oh, a charity night charity at the Globe Early yeah, Hotel. Um, and I get people that have never done stand up before to do stand up, and the winner gets to choose the charity of the money, and Jarch is going to do it. And I th- we got to get Lou to do it as well, the two of you. Well, we I do even thing, agree to it. We do no, a thing. just drop charity called yeah, a series yeah, yeah, of uncomfortable shit, events. Yeah. yeah. Series of uncomfortable. And events. I've been trying to get Jarch and Lou to do a, f- a tight five as a part of that series of uncomfortable events. Well, we'll do it at the thing. So we, we can sell get you it to out. help. Are there yeah. like four hundred people? Two eighty. Two eighty. Two eighty. So specific. I did it. <laughs> oh, right. I've been. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you did it. I did it. That was just. How was I it? was paralytic. He did not do very well. I, I came second, you fucking shit. Cunt. No, but th- that's I just because you had the most mates there. That's just because you had the most mates there. I had people come up to me after me like, there's no way that was your first time. That's yeah, good. It was, was no so was first fucking time, scary, Josh. Like it's time just. Fucking spoke. It's not for me. And like. You just get fucking paralytic. See, I think it's great that you had mates there that were support. I know if my mates came, it would make it worse. They'd want to see you bomb. Fucking yeah. more than anything in the world, Ron. But the whole crowd knows it's the first time as night. <laughs> it's a naked <laughs> Ron. <laughs> I've even met Ron Weasley. I think that's oh. Ron Weasley. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. I wish I did, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I thought it was a <laughs> Oh, fuck dude. No, it was an Anchorman reference. I fucking wish I meant that. Damn it. Um, but, dude, how did you... Did you always want to... Because I feel like you've always been a little performer. Class clown yeah. sort of stuff. That's the vibes I'm getting. Mm-hmm. So were you always intrigued? After your TikTok ship life, because I blew up, obviously I saw you on TikTok and stuff. Before we'd ever met, and I was like, this cunt is so fucking funny. Observationally oh. great. Yeah. Kind of like Millie. You know, just yeah. can pick up on these. And that's like your one you did the other day. I'm sorry, I go on tangents when my brain gets a little crazy. When you did the failing influencer who's angry on live. Oh, yeah. It's a classic. That's not what we do. Uh, yeah, like that. that like send that roses, one. send roses. Yeah, send roses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. don't do that I don't live. do shout outs for free. I don't, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just thought <laughs> this can, can just read people so well. I just loved it. Aww. Now- how did you translate that into stand up? Because you've been doing stand up for a wa- for a while, right? Well, I was doing stand up in year twelve, so I, I started performing and doing comedy in year seven. So that's when I started. Really? And then yeah, and then the teacher was like, "All right, you're quite funny. I want you to do it with like the year twelves." So I was twelve years old doing like drama and stuff with like eighteen year olds, mate. So then I was like, always like the young <laughs> one. I was trying to impress them, and then when I got to year twelve, I started doing stand up. Yeah. And then I was just grinding stand up, like I was making a bit of money off it. I was making maybe like a hundred to one hundred fifty bucks a week doing yep. stand up. Yep. And then in twenty twenty, I started tried TikTok, and then um yeah, it blew up in like November. I think November eighteenth was my first viral video twenty twenty. True. Yeah, and then and then I just kept doing it because I got like the taste. I was like, fuck, I gotta keep going. And then yeah, I just always wanted to turn the uh online audience into like ticket buyers to come to my shows, and it's just like Love my that. favorite thing in the whole world performing is it it's the best nothing beats it like making a whole room of people laugh is just crazy and and then but as pat said it's a drug but the come down's pretty like like you know why comedians are depressed it's literally like you go from like the best feeling in the world to then just like flat what to like so essentially the dichotomy between a fully laughing engaged audience essentially not necessarily metaphorically into the change room at the back where it's just you in a room yeah that sort of thing. Well, you're on the buzz. You're buzz. I'm still buzzed maybe an hour after the show. You're still yep. like buzzing off it. And then you kind of, you go back home and you're just like, what can get me back up there? Like really? Nothing. You just have meth. to be like, I guess I'm down here <laughs> for the next day. <laughs> yeah, and then you smoke high. meth. Chris with yeah. methamphetamine. Yeah. 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 I thought it was a junkie. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm actually need to go inject my shit. Dude, if you need to go, my hey, shit. you need to go and inject your shit, buddy. Yeah. Dude. This is a podcast. Right. We clap and cut. Yeah, we do yeah. what we want. All right, the sweat, thing about whatever. Will that I don't, I think, so, because I've known him since I was like five, I've always known him as like the comedian who does TikTok. Mm. But I think a lot of people know him as the TikToker who's kind of trying to, not trying to do comedy, but is doing co- comedy now. Whereas I've always said, fucking Shit's post here. your clips of you doing stand up and you'll be selling out like actual arenas. Across. Like his stand up, I go to most of his shows on tour, like I'll go with him. And I, you know, I'm in fucking tears every, I know what's, I could recite his whole fucking show <laughs> and I still laugh. 
Jesus. Oh. And the cunt, and the cunt just Sorry. fucking doesn't post clips of himself doing fucking stand yes, up. I do. You've done two, <laughs> and they got like back. five million fucking views. And then you sat there and jerked off, and you were happy with it. Like you could, he could sell out. Oh my god, pisses me off. So r- w- why don't you do that more? Because um, you're a lazy cunt. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. Yeah. You're a lazy cunt. Yeah, so am I, man. I wouldn't worry too yeah. hard. I'm a lazy cunt. <laughs> I'm doing this out of like I I just know your potential and it pisses. I just know how much no, like, I know I'm your potential. Sell out. I'm, I'm doing a big tour this year. Oh yeah, 2025 big That's tour next year, lad. Next year, yeah. It's this. And shit. if I see a single wee meanwhile listener, you know what I'm gonna do? Punch him in the fucking stupid face. H- hold on, that seems counterintuitive. <laughs> yeah, that seems <laughs> counterproductive. I'll yeah. oh, fucking spit on you. <laughs> I do love that on about news. your your fucking you your. Posting on Instagram about your next show, and you're like, "Come if you want, you fucking losers!" And you yeah, just go come. I don't give a shit if you're there or not, mate. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll perform to one person, and it'll be your mama. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? You are not remotely interested in. <laughs> Let's talk about eating. <laughs> More like your dad. Huh? Yeah, your dad. We talk about eating pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just talk about it for real quick. Do they run me through? Do they? Do they purr? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Let's, no, no, no. I can't talk about this. Oh, dude. Let's end the podcast. Okay. Well, how long have we been going for, Willie? Probably about 55 minutes. So Are you, you guys going to do live shows? Or hot Would lines. you ever do live shows? So, mate, we've got. There's a country music artist called Brad Cox. Cox. Yes, yeah, so I know Brad Cox. It. You know Coxie? I don't know him personally, but. I know Brad Penis. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sort of humour we love around here, buddy. <laughs> Buy your tickets, 2025. Yeah. <laughs> we are doing... So, Coxie does a bit of a tight five during his... Uh, oh, really? Uh, ...fucking uh, performances. He's a funny cunt. So, yeah. he's sort of like, mate, I've just... through In between the songs, I start yarning. He's like, I've sort of done, got a bit of a tight five that I do on my shows. He's like, I want to do something a bit different with the tour and have... Maybe a, a live podcast to start if you guys That's would be sick. keen. So we're doing Wollongong, Emerald Theatre, fucking Melbourne. He still don't know this dude. <laughs> like me. I'm literally seeing him meeting up with Coxie tonight too. But um, so we're doing. We're starting a few of his shows he, on yeah, his man. New South Wales wow. leg of the tour. So if you want to go to the website, Brad Cox tour. Uh, com. He tried to do a plug like recently and it literally went for about five minutes and it was so nonsensical. It was fucking wild. I drink a lot of whiskey. Yeah. Okay. You, know. you shoot the- shit up in the bathroom, I drink whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I drown cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're a cat drowner, buddy. Um, so yeah, we're doing that. That'll give us a bit of a, a taste and that's where it's a bit scary because we're going to have some of our mob there yes. and Coxie's mob. Yeah, if Coxie's Ooh. mob doesn't know who we are, country music fans, mate, Drinking piss and we're not hitting. That's where my anxiety starts to kick in a little bit. And that's where I come to the show. Now we nah, Okay. Well, and support. Mu- mu- well, much like you do to any way mean any bedwetter that comes to your show, I'll yeah. spit on you. I'll spit. No, I'm gonna go like this. They're gonna start getting a bit cheery, and I'm gonna go. Leave them alone. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Would work in, a, gonna work in a mobile country cunt. I swear you cunt. thought the country cunt's piss could have get me worse. I'm going to wear a crop top says, and a denim alone. skirt. I'm going cro- to say, leave him alone. Do the, remember the Britney? <laughs> leave leave Britney, Britney alone. Do that. Have I'm a fringe. I'm going to do that. Yeah. I'm going to have a big eyeliner style. on. Fringe. Yeah. Leave Lou and George oh, alone. Fucking um, hell. We're going to do some hotlines and then you've got to stick around for the Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Actually, before we do that, how did Bedwetter start? What's the story with that? <clears throat> Lou and I... <clears throat> Like, do you, are you a constant wet bedwetter? Like, do you piss the bed? Oh, I have. Yeah. Many a time. So, Lou and I bonded basically when, because I think what was also integral to our success is that Lou and I got to know each other as our audience got to know us. Right. Mm. It wasn't like we we're best friends like you guys yeah, know each other okay. for 20 million years. We literally had known each other for a year odd before we started doing the podcast, or maybe less. And, yeah. you know, so we'd learn a lot. And she's like, oh, mate, I used to be a bedwetter as a kid. I was like, mate, I, be- I pissed the bed fucking like three months ago on the mm. piss. And I was like, so was I. We, d- we bonded about how much we wet- We both wore those beepers that would be like, they'd, if it f- detected moisture, it would beep, so to wake you up and shit. <laughs> right. And so we were like, holy shit, bedwetters for life. Boom. Boom. And then it just started bedwetters. That's so beautiful. I'm a bed shitter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, shit, I shit the bed two what? weeks ago. Are you fair income? Yeah. 
Fuck, yeah. I respect the hell out of that. I've seen yeah. the pictures. Yeah, there's pictures. There's photos. I've yeah. seen it too. Ha- I trust it a fart. Yeah. It's happened twice in the last three years. That's it's like not a, bad. Buddy, it's life. Yeah. It's almost, it's better than us. Yeah, it's a bit, yeah, it's a bit fucked, but. Because then <laughs> mum's got to wash it and that. Who? Mum. Buddy, what, what age are you? 25. Can't. It's not yeah. doing your own washing. Yeah, but I don't know how to get shit out of the bed anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just a, dr- a gentle soak and then a wash. Yeah, and you're yeah, 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 yeah. Or throw them sheets out. One of the two. Uh, Hot lines? Lexus money bags. Throw the sheets out by a new pair. Yeah, yeah get true. some get some Egyptian cotton, dude, and just try not to shit on it. Yeah, it's as simple as that. I'm going to do a jingle for the hotline. Okay. Hot, hotline. Um, hot, get get your hot. <laughs> find out if you hot if you get us free. <laughs> <laughs> so. Thank you, boys. Pretty oh, good stuff. Fuck, that was good. Hey, I practiced it. I practiced that before you guys got here. Willie, you fucking in. sexy thing. Oh, really? No Just interest. listening to the latest, episode 181. And Judge, oh, fuck. fucking toenail being used as a toothpick. Fuck yes. <laughs> I was literally picking my teeth with a big toenail as you mentioned it. <laughs> Anyway, uh, another one for uh, Lulu. Not hard, kid. Get with it. Not hard, Not kid. Hard. Huru. Huru, bud. Can, can I go even further? Absolutely, buddy. What I used to love to do or when I do it is I get a nail, toe or finger, <laughs> and, I'll, better. and I'll put it in between the gap of my teeth here. And I'll play around and I'll, I'll pick out and, just, and it bleeds. Bleeds, the gum starts to bleed. The yep. gum bleeds and it's so satisfying. And I just fuck around with it. Bullshit. And, it ble- and I push, I use my tongue and I push the nail through and I just fuck around there and there and the two middle ones. You know what weird it what shit? I back that. And it makes me bleed. And then sometimes <laughs> the, the, toe, the nail gets stuck and you're kind of like trying to pick it up. Oh, it's amazing. Isn't it weird with the shit we do? <laughs> It's amazing. Mate, we're just we're just hairless chimps at the end of the day. Hundred. Does you your know fiance I mean? get the shits when you eat your toenails? Mate, she she wouldn't really be privy to it that often, I don't think. Yeah, my girlfriend ripped into me last night for it. I dare say so. Look, yeah. I get it. I don't. It's my mouth. Correct. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Like it's my fucking mouth. And it's my toe, as for that matter. Now, did you hear what that bloke did towards the end of it, that sound? No, I did hear it, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So it's called the wum. Well, I've called it a whum. It's a whistle hum. <laughs> Wait, oh. I need to take my stupid headphones off. You're not whistling. That's it. It always makes for great listening. This song. this is why we're at the top of the heap, guys. <laughs> Fuck this. Oh, mate, love it. All right, next one. Next one, buddy. Everyone's Jackie and Woo Woo. <laughs> hey, young cunt. <laughs> Listen, Jackie, this one's for you, mate. I know you're a fellow road rager, but... Let me know. Fuck me. These cunts who fucking enter the freeway at 20 uh, days under the speed limit. Fuck them. I tell you what, the next cunt that does it is going to wear my vehicle up their fucking ass. I'm not even joking. <laughs> fuck! Anyway, go fuck yourself. Love you, bud. Yeah. You'd resonate. Yeah. It's just dangerous is what it is. And it just makes zero fucking sense yeah. to me. If you it's don't know reckless. how to fucking drive, you know what's been fucking me off lately? Driving around the eastern suburbs of oh. Sydney. <laughs> On a weekend. Mate, oh. but everyone seems to drive 15 kilometres under the speed limit. So it's a 50k zone. Every fucking cocksucker's going 35 kilometres an hour, yeah. and I don't know why. And I'm like, if you can't handle going 50 kilometres, you shouldn't be on here. Yeah, but Get an Uber or get a bus. Well, that's what I think. It, I think during the week they do into work, and then they drive weekends, and they're not that – they don't drive often, so they're inexperienced, oh, and they just can't. Sh- can I, me to tears. Ca- through Kuji as well. Oh, can my Can I admit God. to something? Yeah, buddy. So, Will, don't this is anger us. Piss you off, man. Three or so weeks ago, I was driving. Yeah, um, and there was an L plater in front of me. Yeah, Fuck and they were I going. They that. were going fifteen kilometers in a in a regular fifty kilometers, like fifteen kilometers down the street. Fifteen kilometers an hour. An hour. They were going so slow, and I was like, "Oh, there's someone in front of them." There wasn't anyone in front of them. I go like this. I overtake, and I and I wind my window down, and I go, "You're fucking shit." 
and I keep going. Now, they were an L plater and it looked like that it was their literal first time driving. But welcome to the real world. Yeah, the, yeah. You know what? If that's the case, mate, then dad or mum go out to a fucking quiet street. Or a car, not, start in the car, car park. park. Where you're not going to fuck everyone off. Get them going. Where yeah. they can go. You shouldn't be on the road. Don't yet. be on the road then. You're that's, fucking yeah. shit. I'm proud of you, buddy. Thanks. Mate, I think the scream was a bit too far. No, I think that's perfect. Dude, yesterday I was, I was driving down Crown Street and there was a person in front of me going 20 k's an hour because I was just looking at all the shops. It was like 200 meters of traffic behind him. Just oh. did not give a fuck. Just going, oh, oh, look at that. See, that's where it, that's what gets my gear, it gets my bloody go. Yeah. It's the it's inconsiderate people just being like, I'm running my own race and fuck everyone else. Yeah. I can't handle that. Especially I'm Crown like, Street. Yeah, come on now. Oh, oh come mate. on, mate. Keep it flowing. All right, next one. Take punts. So I've got a red light, green light, red light, green light, Sydney. Fucking red! <laughs> I fucking hate it! <laughs> anyway, that's all I've got to say. Goodbye. What's the green light? No, no red light or green light, so it's either it's good or it's bad. Red is bad, green is good. She's red light for Sydney. Fucking hates oh, it. Oh, right. You're the same. We've had this discussion. The Daily Mail thought it'd be fun to write a fucking article on it. Really? Oh, yeah. What happened? I got written up in the Daily Mail for saying there's nothing to do in Sydney. Well, just like, if you're a tourist, what the fuck would you do here? I love Sydney. It's my favourite place ever. I think it's the coolest spot. But if you come and visit, so, it would suck. Sorry, buddy. This city has the worst nightlife ever of any capital city ever. Anywhere. Yeah. Like it, it, you know, you go fucking Barcelona, you go London, you go somewhere. There's a spot where you can go, light it up, grouse, fun. Don't fucking say Newtown to me. No. I'll start swinging. <laughs> no, no, not Newtown. <laughs> where are you thinking? There's one place. Universal? Universal on Oxford Street. What oh, time's it close? Four in the morning. Okay, listen, that's a one place on one street. What I'm saying is there, so, you know, like down at the Oak, Double Bay or yeah. fucking whatever shit. Whatever seat. Nah, but that's been my fucking drinking hole since I've been oh. here. But if you go there on a Thursday night, sometimes there'll be six people in that pub. And you're like, oh, at the Royal in fucking Paddington, you know what I mean? There's all these places that are yeah. grouse pubs in cool spots that should technically be packed in any other city in the world. Mm. It'd be fucking pumping on a Thursday. I've been there when there's been five, six people and you're like, what is, what is this place? <laughs> yeah, 100%. You know what baffles me as well? The amount of times I drive through Bondi Top two most famous beaches in the world. And it's a fucking ghost town. Yeah, mate. Absolute ghost town. Don't you? Re- every, I don't get it. There quite often. I don't get it. And it's like, every, if I came to Bondi and I like went down there on a night, I would expect to be like oh, chaos. It's chaos, mate. Bro, it's a f- I could just d- do what I want. There's no one there. We, Sydney doesn't have it. You're dead right. Mm. And the fact they wrote you up, I'm like, it's, it is also the opinion of everyone that fucking lives here. Yeah. yeah it was fucked. It'd be an awful place to visit. Plus traffic from... Like yes. start of the day to the finish of the day all day. Yeah. Yes. Brother. 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 All right, Fuck next him. one. Hey, Bedwetters. Absolutely love the podcast. Josh and Lou. Two of the best. Thanks, mate. I've got a red light, green light for you. Fucking chicks. Not even chicks. Instagram fucking want to be influencers with a blue tick, right? <laughs> or anyone. Blaming places as people on Instagram so, and thanking them, saying, Thanks, Nick and Oz, you've been great. <laughs> <laughs> next time, here. Shut the fuck up. Thanks, Kelly. See you next time. Oh, I love oh, this guy. My oh, God. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> Love ya. <laughs> I'll go one step further. When they, when they tag like an official page for that place as well. So yeah. what do you mean? Oh, like Mickey like Mickey Mick 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 oh, yeah. yeah. like, That's even what. Yeah. Like a, 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 a land body is going to reply to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's fucking pisser. That's funny. That's I love that. Yeah, that it also great. annoys the shit out of me. Same as when people make uh, an Instagram for their dog and have pretend like their dog's posting. Oh my god. Look at me dog. having fun at the park today. <laughs> wow, we woof woof. Yeah. Shut the that's fuck up. That's when I get the 12 yeah. gauge. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's point blank sort of and stuff. And I'm blasting it. <laughs> like the owner of the dog. Both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds like there's some collateral. Poor fucking dog didn't start yeah. Instagram. <laughs> getting point blank. Uh, should we do one, one more. more and then we'll go Patreon, boys? Nice. Hey, lovely Willie. I just wanted to let um, <laughs> Lou know I thought she'd be proud of my three-year-old toddler. 
So it got really hot on the Gold Coast all of a sudden eating stuff. So the hose and his crocs, his shoes are off. And I thought he wanted me to rinse them, so I put some water in his crocs with all he's holding it. And what does he do? His first shoey. No, no peer pressure, no nothing, no cheering. Just decided to do his first shoey in his crocs. Oh. Oh, proud, Lulu. Bye-bye. Good kid. Yeah. He'll grow up to be an absolute pain. Yeah. <laughs> I'll hate him. <laughs> Give it 15 years, I'll hate the cunt. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Will, Will's a real glass half full kind of guy. <laughs> um, I think that is it. The kid, the kid knows what he wants. I reckon he'll grow up to be an absolute fucking rooster. Yeah. Let's wait and see. 15, 15 years, years time, 18, mate. He'll try to fuck him. <laughs> it's your ripe age, mate. <laughs> Okie dokie. So we're, <laughs> we're, we're going to jump to the uh, Patreon. Uh, what I'll about be that, dead. What about that yarn you guys said you had for the Patreon that was the best yarn you said you ever oh, had? Oh, yeah, remember yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I can't believe you're going to miss oh, out no. on if you know for the It's Patreon. actually fucked. It's so fucked that we didn't even say it on our own podcast because we saved it for the I hour. remember um, that. How much yeah. is it? How much is it a month? Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. It's two dollars fifty a week. Two forty nine. How povo do you have to be to not be able to afford that? Will what? <laughs> That's what we say on our Well, yeah. how pov. William. <laughs> uh, if they, listen, if you sit here twice a week and listen to a mean well and just laugh and laugh and then you can't give back. No, no, no. Two dollars fifty a week. <laughs> You're sad. I've been broke. You're a pathetic oh, I've sad. Been broke. Oh my god. I've been picking food out of bins for dinner. I still would have a, subs- a, nef- a subscription to Netflix or something, right? And you povo cunts can't oh my fork god. up <laughs> coins from your wallet. Sados, bunch of sados. Coins from you. You could walk around the city and pick up. Two dollars fifty a week. Idea. Pick up another shift at work, you fucking lazy cunt. And support we mean while you're at it. Support our Patreon too, you fucking povo cunt. This is the, the worst plug yeah. we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking saddos. See you in the Patreon. Bye. Love you, oh, Bedwars. Fucking go hungry for one night.